next we have um, Arnie Gunderson. Arnie, please. Hi, I'm Arnie Gunderson. It's, uh, it, it's crystal clear. It, it is crystal clear to me that if Edison had played by the rules back in 06, we wouldn't be here today. And by that I mean this process that, that Dave Friedman was just discussing. Um, if they had complied with that, the problems that they've encountered would have been identified. Now, Edison decided to game the system. And what they did was, before they had the design done, they determined that the design was going to be like for like. In fact, there were enormous changes inside those steam generators that, that um, made it anything but a like for like swap out. It, it's sort of like, uh, uh, think of a Mack truck and Harry Potter throwing his invisibility cloak over it and then uh, claiming that underneath there is a Mini Cooper. Well, that's what Edison was trying to do. They were trying to disguise a Mack truck as a Mini Cooper. And what happened is we're here today as a result. I'm sure that the NRC would have caught the, uh, the design problems that, um, uh, that we're seeing today. Uh, just a couple. Um, the, the people that made this generator, Mitsubishi, um, had never built a generator like this before. So all of their computer codes were designed for another manufacturer's steam generators. The, the net effect of that and all of the other design problems that, uh, that we encountered were the failures we see today. Now, make no mistake, this is not just a leak, we can shut it down, fix it. This is a safety problem. And what can happen in a case where the steam generator tubes are weak is, is something called a steam line brake accident in which many of those tubes fail. And that's actually in the plant's emergency plan. This is, this is an accident that's analyzed and would require an evacuation. So this is not a, um, uh, like what happened on um, uh, January 31st. This is not an issue of, um, of one tube leaks, we shut it down, and the public's not at risk. These changes put the public at risk. And I would agree with Dave Friedman. Now we're asking the same people who missed the fact that the Mack truck was there and were calling it a Mini Cooper. The same people that missed this, the NRC, to now uh, now give us a feeling of security going forward that that's the case, that it's safe. Um, I think we need a, uh, an adjudicatory process and um, I look forward to testifying in front of it. Thank you.